Have you ever wondered why Ukraine is at the center of a geopolitical tug of war? Ukraine, a vast nation, finds itself nestled between the powerhouses of Russia to the east and the European Union to the west. This strategic positioning is not just a matter of geography. Historically, Ukraine has been a crucial crossroads between east and west, a place where cultures, ideologies, and ambitions have clashed and mingled for centuries. It's a land where the echoes of Kiev and Rus, the Mongol invasion, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the Ottoman Empire, the Russian Empire, Soviet rule, and the push for European integration can all be heard. Each has left its mark, shaping Ukraine's identity and its geopolitical significance. This historical context underscores the importance of Ukraine in the grand chessboard of international relations. It's not just a country caught between two spheres of influence, but a pivotal player in its own right. Understanding this, let us delve into the chronological events that have shaped the geopolitical situation in Ukraine. The year 2004 marked a turning point for Ukraine with the Orange Revolution. This was a time of political unrest and mass public demonstrations, sparked by allegations of rigged presidential elections. The citizens, donning orange as their symbol of protest, took to the streets by the millions in a peaceful display of civil disobedience that lasted for weeks. The revolution's name, Orange, was derived from the campaign colors of the opposition party, whose leader, Viktor Yushchenko, was poisoned in a scandalous assassination attempt before the elections. The Orange Revolution's primary catalyst was the widespread dissatisfaction with the government's corruption and the people's desire for a more democratic, transparent system. They demanded a rerun of the second round of the presidential elections, which, initially, was won by the pro-Russian candidate, Viktor Yanukovych. However, the results were widely believed to be rigged, leading to a standoff that was only resolved when the Supreme Court ordered a rerun, which Yushchenko won. The Orange Revolution was not merely a political uprising, it was a cultural and social renaissance that highlighted the Ukrainian populace's aspirations to align more closely with Western Europe rather than Russia. This marked a significant shift in Ukraine's foreign policy, tilting it towards a pro-Western stance. The outcomes of the Orange Revolution were profound. It brought a sense of political freedom and empowerment to the citizens, demonstrating the power of peaceful protest. It also paved the way for Ukraine to make significant strides towards democracy, rule of law, and human rights. Unfortunately, many of the revolution's promises were not fully realized due to the subsequent political turbulence and the 2008 global financial crisis. However, the revolution's impact on Ukraine's international relations was undeniable. It led to a re-evaluation of Ukraine's relationship with Russia and sparked a renewed interest in forging closer ties with the European Union. The Orange Revolution set the stage for the subsequent geopolitical events that would unfold. It was a testament to the strength of the Ukrainian people's resolve for democracy and self-determination, and it left an indelible mark on the country's history. Fast forward to 2014, the world watched as Crimea was annexed by Russia. In the early days of 2014, the political landscape of Ukraine was in a state of flux. President Viktor Yanukovych's decision to reject a deal with the European Union in favor of closer ties with Russia sparked widespread protests known as the Euromaidan movement. Amid this political turmoil, Russia saw an opportunity and acted swiftly. In late February, unidentified soldiers, later confirmed to be Russian, began occupying key sites in Crimea, a region that held strategic importance due to its geographical location and historical ties to Russia. This marked the beginning of a series of events that would culminate in the annexation of the peninsula. On March 16, a referendum was held in Crimea under the watchful eyes of these soldiers. The official results showed an overwhelming majority of Crimeans voting to join Russia. However, the referendum was widely criticized and deemed illegitimate by the international community. It was carried out without any credible international observation and under the presence of an occupying force casting a shadow over the legitimacy of the results. The United Nations General Assembly passed a resolution declaring the referendum invalid, but Russia vetoed a similar resolution in the Security Council. Despite the condemnation, Russia officially annexed Crimea on March 18, an act that was seen as a blatant violation of international law. The annexation sent shockwaves throughout the international community. The United States and the European Union responded by imposing a series of sanctions on Russia targeting individuals, businesses, and sectors of the Russian economy. These measures were aimed at pressuring Russia to reverse its course, but they had little effect on the ground in Crimea. 
the annexation of Crimea was more than just a territorial dispute, it was a manifestation of the deep-seated historical, cultural and political tensions between Russia and Ukraine. For Russia, it represented a reclaiming of what it saw as historically Russian territory. For Ukraine, it was a blatant violation of its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The annexation also had far-reaching implications for international relations. It challenged the post-Cold War order and raised questions about the effectiveness of international law and institutions. It also marked a turning point in Russia's relations with the West, leading to a new period of confrontation and mistrust. In the aftermath of the annexation, the situation in eastern Ukraine rapidly deteriorated. Pro-Russian separatists, emboldened by the events in Crimea, declared independence in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, sparking a conflict that continues to this day. The annexation of Crimea not only changed the geopolitical landscape, but also escalated tensions in eastern Ukraine. While the world's attention was on Crimea, a conflict was brewing in eastern Ukraine. It's a conflict that has spanned years, claimed thousands of lives, and sent ripples through the international community. It's a conflict that is steeped in history, politics, and a struggle for identity. In the heart of eastern Ukraine lie the regions of Donetsk and Luhansk. Traditionally industrial areas with a significant Russian-speaking population, these regions have become the epicenter of a conflict that started in the spring of 2014. This was a period of unrest, a time when the echoes of the Euromaidan protests in Kiev were still fresh. It was this atmosphere that ignited the spark of separatism. In Donetsk and Luhansk, separatist movements began to surface. These movements, fueled by a sense of disenfranchisement and a desire for closer ties with Russia, declared independence from Ukraine. They became self-proclaimed republics, setting the stage for a conflict that would endure for years. But how did this local unrest evolve into a full-blown conflict? The answer lies in the involvement of a powerful neighbor, Russia. While Russia has consistently denied direct military involvement, it is widely believed by many that Russia has provided significant support to the separatists. This support has allegedly included everything from military equipment and financial aid to intelligence and troops. The conflict in eastern Ukraine is not just a local issue. It's a conflict that has drawn in global powers and dramatically shifted the geopolitical landscape. It has had far-reaching consequences, not least of which is the strain it has put on relations between Russia and the European Union. The EU, along with the United States and other Western allies, has condemned Russia's alleged involvement in the conflict. They've imposed economic sanctions on Russia, aimed at pressuring the country to change its course. These sanctions, coupled with Russia's annexation of Crimea, have led to a chilling of relations between Russia and the West. The conflict has also forced the European Union to reassess its relationship with Ukraine. While the EU has always maintained a strong stance in support of Ukraine's sovereignty, the conflict has underscored the need for a more proactive approach. The EU has ramped up its efforts to support Ukraine, providing financial aid and assistance in reforming and modernizing the country's institutions. Yet despite these efforts, the conflict in eastern Ukraine persists. It's a conflict that has not only disrupted Ukraine but also strained relations between Russia and the European Union. It's a conflict that continues to test the resolve of the international community, a conflict whose resolution remains uncertain. As we move forward, the question remains, how will this conflict shape the future of Ukraine, Russia and the European Union? What will be the lasting legacy of this struggle for identity, sovereignty, and power? This conflict has not only disrupted Ukraine but also strained relations between Russia and the European Union. It's a story that is still unfolding, a story that will shape the course of history in this corner of the world. The conflict in Ukraine has become a litmus test for relations between Russia and the European Union. In the global theater, the Ukraine conflict has morphed into a fulcrum, a point of contention that has strained relations between Russia and the European Union. This strain is palpable, manifesting in a myriad of ways, from sanctions to diplomatic fallout. Since the annexation of Crimea, the European Union, along with its Western allies, has imposed a series of economic sanctions against Russia. These sanctions, aimed at sectors like energy, defense and finance, have sought to pressure Russia into altering its actions in Ukraine. Over the years the sanctions have been extended and expanded, reflecting the ongoing nature of the conflict. The impact of these sanctions has been two-pronged. For Russia, the economic toll has been considerable, with the country's economy shrinking by nearly 2% in the first year of sanctions alone. For the European Union the sanctions have also come at a cost. 
Russia has retaliated with counter-sanctions, affecting sectors such as agriculture, and the EU has had to grapple with the economic fallout. Beyond the economic sphere, the Ukraine conflict has caused significant diplomatic fallout. Relations between Russia and the European Union have reached a post-Cold War low with diplomatic ties strained and trust eroded. The conflict has also strained Russia's relationships with individual EU member states, with countries like Germany and Poland voicing strong opposition to Russia's actions. Yet, amid the tensions and strains, dialogue continues. The Normandy format, a diplomatic group of representatives from Germany, Russia, Ukraine and France, has been instrumental in facilitating discussions and negotiations. Despite the challenges, the group has managed to broker ceasefires and prisoner exchanges, albeit with varying degrees of success. The Ukraine conflict has also had broader implications for the European Union's foreign policy. The EU has had to navigate a delicate balancing act, supporting Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity while also dealing with its energy dependence on Russia. This has also led to discussions around the EU's energy security and the need for diversification of energy sources. In essence, the Ukraine conflict has become a defining feature of relations between Russia and the European Union. It has tested the EU's resolve and its ability to stand up against aggression, while also challenging Russia's willingness to engage in meaningful dialogue and negotiations. As the situation continues to evolve, the stakes remain high for Ukraine, Russia, and the European Union. The decisions made today will not only shape the future of Ukraine but will also determine the trajectory of relations between Russia and the European Union. The conflict thus, serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world and the ripple effects that a single event can have on the global stage. As the situation continues to evolve, the stakes remain high for Ukraine, Russia and the European Union. The question now is, what does the future hold for Ukraine? Peering into Ukraine's future is akin to gazing through a kaleidoscope of possibilities, each scenario tinted with the hues of geopolitics, history and ambition. The nation stands at a crossroads, a battleground of sorts, where the East and the West vie for influence. One possible future sees Ukraine resolving its conflict with Russia, leading to a potential path of reconciliation. This could involve compromises on both sides, perhaps even a possible agreement on the status of Crimea and Eastern Ukraine. But this is a future fraught with uncertainty, as it would require a softening of standpoints that, so far, have been as immovable as the Carpathian Mountains. Alternatively, Ukraine could forge ahead on its path towards greater integration with the European Union. This potential future comes with its own set of challenges not least of which would be the necessity to balance the interests of its Western allies with the realities of its geographical and historical ties to Russia. Another scenario sees Ukraine becoming a pivot point, a fulcrum of a new balance of power. As the world order continues to evolve, Ukraine could emerge as a strategic player leveraging its geopolitical position to carve out a unique role for itself on the international stage. Yet, each of these futures is contingent on the resolution of the conflict that has consumed the nation for years. It is a conflict that is not simply about territory but also about identity, about the choice between a past intertwined with Russia and a future looking towards Europe. As we look to the horizon, we see a Ukraine that is resilient, that is determined, and that, despite the challenges it faces, continues to strive for a future of peace and prosperity. The path ahead is not without its obstacles, but Ukraine has shown time and again that it is a nation that can endure, that can adapt, and that can overcome. As we continue to watch this geopolitical drama unfold, one thing is certain. Ukraine remains at the heart of a complex web of international relations. To summarize, we have traced the evolution of the geopolitical situation in Ukraine. Beginning with the Orange Revolution, we saw a nation seeking to assert its independence and democratic values. This quest, however, led to unforeseen challenges, such as the annexation of Crimea by Russia. A move that sent shockwaves around the world and sparked a conflict in eastern Ukraine that continues to this day. This conflict has not only affected Ukraine, but has also strained relations between Russia and the European Union, altering the dynamics of international diplomacy. The European Union's role as a mediator, its sanctions against Russia, and its support for Ukraine's sovereignty have all been defining factors in this ongoing saga. Despite these challenges, Ukraine's future remains hopeful as it continues to strive for sovereignty and democratic governance. As we keep our eyes on Ukraine, we are reminded that it is more than just a country. 
it is a geopolitical hotspot that continues to shape international relations.